Hey everybody, welcome back to Mr. Clitzel's Team Build Tuesday. Now today's Team Build is going to be the Atlantis keyword. Yes, thank you so much Solution Carter for that suggestion. It is now time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go take a dive in the water because this is going to be from the new dolphin symbol. Let's go. Alright guys, so here we go with Team Build Tuesday. Now this one I built for a casual type of game. Now if it becomes a competitive, perfect. Thank you so much to Lucian Carter for that awesome suggestion. Thought about it for a while, I'm like, oh, that's right. I actually haven't built a Atlantis team. Always remember guys, if you guys like this video, give it a little thumbs up there. If you guys like the content I bring to you guys, make sure you guys subscribe right now and hit the post notifications. That way you're the first one to know when any brand new video comes out. And always share this video with your family or friends or local players that are looking for a fun team to play. Now the search engine I actually use is Clicks Nexus. Their link as well as all the social media links you can definitely find me in including my buy me a coffee or my Patreon be down below in the description. Definitely check it out. Now time to start out with this awesome Atlantis uh, keyword team. But before we do, because of the new rules now for the uh, dolphin symbol, we are going to be starting out with a chase. That is right, from the Captain America and the Avengers set. Uh, he is the set number 69. Now, it's going to be the lower end of the dial, which is 50 points. It is Namor. That's right, that sculpt looks so awesome. I love that's when they have the action poses of him jumping out of the water. That is awesome. Zero range, he has charge, he has quake, he has invulnerability, and three with the leadership. So he has 11 attack and three damage and 17 defense, which is really, really solid. Now, he does have a trait, which is the Avenging Sons of Atlantis. Uh, Namor starts the game with a flood marker in his square. The flood marker is terrain, is water terrain, smoke cloud, as free, but to generate water terrain markers instead of hindering terrain markers. So you get to also free place the flood marker in Namor Square. So you start the game with it on uh and you know, on the bottom of Namor. If he moves, now you get to free and then replace the water terrain. So Always he's going to have that continuous uh, dolphin symbol where you got to be within four squares to actually target him. So if he goes away and they call last round and you can't get within four squares, game's over for that. But he also has a Masters of the Seven Seas, which is the dolphin symbol. So when you actually see his dial, it actually is going to be the flight. But he also has a trait, which is the dolphin, which is weird. Dolphin and flight. Well, it's okay. He's a flying dolphin. <laughs> uh, friendly characters with a dolphin or who share a keyword, which is going to be everybody in this team, uh, with Namor. Modify attack by plus one if making a close attack while occupying water terrain. Now, we're definitely going to tr uh, try out, like on a, on a map, is going to be no water terrain. Uh, then we're going to start generating them just like he does right now with the smoke cloud, but as a free, and he only generates water terrain. Uh, that's where we're gonna start getting around with uh, charging everyone with that plus one attack. Now he does have a special de uh, defense, which is toughness, uh, re rejuvenated by the sea. Toughness, regeneration, but only if uh, Namor occupies water terrain, which he's going to be occupying water terrain most, if not the entire game. Now, the next one here is going to be from the Rebirth set. Set number 28, Uncommon. It is Tempest. Now, Namor had the Defender's team ability. Tempest has a Titan's team ability, which we're not going to utilize as much. Which, he is 75 points. He has Charge, uh, Super Strength, uh, Toughness, and 3 damage with Perplex. Now, remember, what the whole thing Perplex now is you cannot Perplex damage. So, he'll be rocking an 11 attack or a 18 defense. Now, he has two different traits. One, we're not going to be utilizing, which is a Titan's Reborn. Not going to use that. Now, we are going to use that, that first one, which is a Water Wizard. That's awesome, right? Freeze it or boil it. 
Wow, that sounds really weird. Smoke as a smoke cloud as a free. So that's another smoke cloud uh, that we can use as a free. Now this one's also the same thing as Namor, which is gen, uh, Tempest gets to generate water terrain markers instead of hindering terrain markers. So we're gonna have about twelve squares of water. There's gonna be a lot of water we're gonna be generating. Um, now he gets a free. Choose an opposing character. Now this is really 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 solid. Is that he gets to. Uh, uh, choose an opposing character occupying water terrain within range and roll a d6 on a three through four Give that character an action token now We do know about pushing damage, but don't worry about that one bit because the um, The action token is basically just to lock them down and you on a five through six you deal that character one Penetrating damage so even if you don't even do anything you just make a free smoke uh, you drop it on the on the character, and then you get to roll a d6 if he's within his range. So his range is going to be a 6. Um, now, if he deals that character 1, penetrating damage on a 5 through 6. So, I think for free, that is a solid, solid power. For an uncommon, I think that's amazing. Now, the next one we're going to be talking about is from the Justice League Unlimited, set number 29, Aquaman, the uncommon, that is right. Now he is rocking 60 points, the Justice League team ability, which I believe gives plus one, uh, plus one movement if he moves. So that's pretty solid for move action. Uh, zero range, dolphin symbol, uh, nine, uh, nine movement, 11 attack, uh, 17 uh, with combat reflexes. So if you have to run and get him, it's 19 defense and three damage. Now he does have the standard Justice League uh, unlimited where you roll a d6 and on a on a six, you remove an action token from another friend character with the Justice League keyword. Uh, that's 100 points or less. Now, he also has another awesome trait, which is King of the Seven Seas. When, when uh, Aquaman occupies water terrain, which he's going, to be, he's going to be on water terrain all the time, he can use Defend and Regeneration. So if you actually hit him, it doesn't really matter. It's a trait. Uh, you put a water terrain marker down, you can just heal him back up. Um, that's pretty funny. And he used defend too as well too. So if another character has 16 defense, uh, he's going to have 17 because of Aquaman being in water terrain. Now he does have a special movement, which is his first three clicks, which is going to be crashing wave charge when Aqu uh, Aquaman uses it and hits after resolutions, knock back all adjacent opposing characters two squares. So that's really good. Now we do know about the whole ruling on the knockback damage, but this is really cool because he gets a charge and then knock him back. So that's, I think, is really solid. I absolutely love this. Now, the next one is going to be from the WizKids uh, LDs, which is going to be Mera. Mera is uh, going to be 45 points. It's the six range single bolt. Now, she does have a uh, force blast uh, telekinesis, and she has 17 um, special defense and shape change, which is really amazing now she gets to target through elevation as well too so if you're if you're higher elevation it's okay she can still target you with an 11 attack and three damage uh, now she does have queen of atlantis free if mara occupies water terrain half speed and then move it's pretty awesome <laughs> <laughs> um, her special uh, defense is mystical protection from the surface energy shield deflection whoa energy shield deflection guys when attacked friendly characters occupying water terrain can use the mystics team ability if the attacker does not occupy water terrain so let's just say right now she's gonna be on that for the first four clicks um that's pretty awesome. So when you think about it too is this. So you put the water terrain markers down all around your character. Not all around, but inside the squares. Now if they try to charge and hit you, they're going to all have Mystic's team abilities. Because no one's going to be on water terrain. Because we're gonna, if we win map, we're going to put them on out, no water terrain marker whatsoever. So they're going to have to come and attack us. That's awesome. Now the last one for this team is going to be the Atlantean General. Now this one is the Ellie from uh, from 2019. Uh, 35 points, four range, the dolphin symbol again too. So he has charge, precision strike, 17 toughness, and a special da uh, damage. His special damage is pretty cool, I like, because it's water tactics. Leadership, now this one is awesome. Unique modifier, adjacent of fr uh, friendly characters with a dolphin symbol modify damage by plus one so everybody right now that's gonna be next to him which we're gonna make sure 
right next to him is going to have the plus one damage. So I actually put two, uh, uh, two uh, space gems and a Mandarin ring for this team. So with that, I use the power gem. The power gem basically gives you plus one damage, or plus two damage and plus one attack. Because the power gem gives you range combat expert or close combat expert, they're gonna have plus one attack, plus one damage, and then you also get plus one damage from the power gem. So I was thinking about using this with Tempest. So Tempest would be rocking a really solid number and probably hit you probably for five damage, six damage, because they're gonna be right next to the Atlantean general. So he'll, if he's a three damage, he'll be six damage altogether. So that is a lot of damage output for that guy. Um, the other one I was talking about was the zero ring. So the zero ring would be barrier. So let's say you wanna put everybody in water terrain and you gotta be within four to hit them. Well, you can basically just barrier up, put your barrier markers up and just hide out and wait. Uh, until the next turn. Um, the other one you can actually utilize too is the Space Gem. Now the Space Gem I would put on the Atlantean General because it gives you phasing teleport and you get to passenger, it's a passenger too, and you get to move up your guys if they share a keyword with you. So uh, you, move, you move up your guys, you lock them, you put them down, zero ring you basically. So what you do, want to do is you want to barrier up. And then once you barrier up, then you move up Namor or you move up two of your guys. And, oh, you want to move up Namor because he's in a power action to barrier. He's in a barrier up when you need to wear your barrier up and then move the team up uh, to that square and then free uh, Smoke Cloud, which is the water terrain. So it, this team was so much fun to build. It was around 290 points. Uh, I would love to get you guys' take on that. If you guys would like to add any characters on this or change a certain character, let me know in the comment section below. As well as let me know if you guys have any suggestions as far as any characters you want me to build around or any keywords. I, I honestly love to hear all of your guys' awesome comments. So thank you so much to Lucian Carter. That was such an awesome and fun build. Uh, I spur of the moment decided I'm going to build an uh, Atlantean team because I saw at your, uh, that you posted to me about the Atlantean, uh, Atlantis team. Now, if you guys like this Atlantis Keyword Team Build Tuesday, give it a little thumbs up there. A water terrain thumbs up. <laughs> if you guys like the content I bring to you guys, make sure you guys subscribe right now and hit the post notifications. That way, if any brand new videos come out, you're the first one to know about it. And as well as sharing this video with your family or friends or local players that need help building a team. Now, I'm going to post up the links right below with Clicks Nexus, as well as all of my social media links you can definitely find me in, including my monthly Patreon and my Buy Me A Coffee. So definitely, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys for so much for commenting. Uh, we are so close to hitting 500 subscribers. That is right. That is a milestone for me. I've been wanting to try to hit the... Huge 1,000 subscribers, but 500, I'll definitely take so close to that. Now, always remember, guys, if you're going to roll virtually or physically, socially distant, always remember, if you're going to roll, you always, always roll a critical hit. Thanks, guys, so much, and onward to Team Build Tuesday next week. Let's go.